Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe, and I want to show you how to set up your HP stream with making money. I'll have a document and a website article in the description for this if you want, but it's overall pretty simple. So I've got three of these now. You'll see my device count in the upcoming routine later this month, most likely end of this month or early next month. And this device is pretty nice for making money. It's basically like a computer, but it's a tablet, as you saw and you can use it for any cache websites since it's running Windows. So I got TeamViewer installed on it. I got rid of all of the icons on the home screen that I don't want. Everything basically but the library file search and then I put Google Chrome on here as well. Right now I'm going into the control panel to show you different things here that I do. Right now we're in the power saving menu. I want to point out that this tablet can have glitches with power. I noticed that if you have the brightness the whole way up, it's not going to charge depending on what you have it plugged in with. Some chargers will work, some will not. It depends on the, I read, resistance of the wire apparently and output, but hey, that's, that's beyond my testings. I just set the brightness a little bit below half and test around with different ports on my USB hubs and see which one works. The one that works the best is the 12 port I showed in my wire management video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And all the other ones, it would just not work even if I put the brightness as low as possible. On battery, of course, it's low as possible. And then when it's plugged in, I, I like to brighten it up a bit because you can without consequences of draining the battery more. Next thing I go to would be the programs and features. I'm going to speed up this footage because it takes quite a while. I uninstall stuff like Microsoft Office, the Kisco modules, whatever those are installed on here. Anything prefixed with HP like the HP Setup Assistant and all this other stuff HP installs. You don't need any of it. It doesn't affect the functionality. I've done this on three devices with no issues uninstalling these things. For a complete list, I'll just put them in the document. Now what I'm going to go and do is get on Google Chrome. That's my preferred browser. You do whatever you want for that. And then I'm going to go get a black screen. Now why am I doing that? Well, it's the same reason I take a picture of my desk face down for iOS and Android setups. You could also Google black screen on those and save it to your photos folder. But I just Google it on this HP stream device since it's a computer. And then I download this black screen and set it as my desktop background for... Uh, just just consistency purposes. So every device has the same background, all my cache devices. And then I also do this so that way when TeamViewer is accessing it or whatever remote access you use. In fact, for my HP streams, I use VNC. You can use TeamViewer if you want, since you may consider it a computer then it's going to be a lot less on the bandwidth, uh, not having a, a full image to render rather than just one, one color. After that, I search for the HP Stream 7 drivers. I go to the HP website to download them, make sure you're on the authentic website. I can put a link to that in the document and my website. And this is where you just have to download the Wi-Fi drivers. I, I believe they're updates for what is currently installed on the device. I noticed all three of them were having Wi-Fi issues until I did this, this reinstall Wi-Fi driver thing. And then something else I'm going to show you here in a minute after I install all of these Wi-Fi drivers. You have to reboot after you do them. The Bluetooth is optional. I, I do both of them, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but we're not going to be using Bluetooth here anyway with our money-making devices. So you don't have to. You can just disable Bluetooth. Once both of these are downloaded, I just go ahead and install them and only select reboot after the second one so I don't have to reboot twice. Once the reboot's done, I go back into Control Panel, Device Manager, go down to your network drivers, and select the network driver that we're using here, and then change the performance to Wi-Fi in that menu. That seems to fix any Wi-Fi issues I was having, like limited network or no access on this HP stream. So that's basically it. That's how I set up my HP streams for money making. I just wanted to share my basic configuration for that. Like I said, I have three of these. I'll show you them in the routine coming up. Then, of course, you could just go on your money making website. Uh, the screen's pretty small, so you you'd want to consider actually... Uh, zooming out like 33 or 50 percent on the website. One last thing I did, did here that I forgot about, I actually changed the screen resolution. The reason I waited is because it messes up my team viewer screencast. I changed it to as low as possible to minimize the processing power that's needed to power the display. There's no reason why we need to have that good of a display when we're making money. 
All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. I recommend this tablet. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick it up. I think Best Buy is a great place for it. Hopefully, the price has dropped on Amazon as well because I like to buy stuff on there. But Best Buy was way cheaper than uh, than Amazon for some reason. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money that I'm using for the entire day and. I've been making, like I said, about 2 to $3. I'll have a link for the earning log in the description, and I want to talk to you guys how I've been making money with AdFund in this video. So I found AdFund about a year ago, really, actually, and 